Now, if you ever wanted to run your favorite streaming applications on your laptop or your computer, maybe you're traveling for work or maybe you've gone somewhere and you've got your laptop with you, you don't have your Fire Stick, how can you access your favorite streaming applications on that device? Well, having the ability to run these Android applications on your PC, I think is a fantastic feature and it's something that I do all the time when I'm testing applications. Here, for example, you may think I'm on my Fire Stick just using the Wolf Launcher, but this, in fact, guys, is my Android emulator. So if I just move this out of the way, you can see I'm just running a Windows application, which is allowing me to run all of my favorite Android applications, my favorite streaming applications, all inside this window. So here, for example, if I open up my uh, app to TV, I can click on that. I've got full access to all of my Android applications. I can install things, I can browse things, and it really does allow you to run your favorite application. So in this video today, let me show you how you can do this on your computer and allow you to also run all of your favorite Android applications wherever you are. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get the started. Channel. And you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, we need to download an Android emulator. Now, there are lots of different emulators available like BlueStacks, like Knox, like LD Player, and some other ones as well, but I've used most of them and for me personally, I found in terms of performance, in terms of reliability, and in terms of minimal adverts, I found LD Player to be the best. So to get that onto your device, just open up your favorite browser and just type in LD Player. Let's click on the first link. And there we have it guys. We now have a simple option we can click on, download LD Player, which as of April 2022 comes with Android 7.1. So like you see on the 4K Fire Stick running Fire OS 6. So let's click on that to download, click on the file here, click on install, it takes a couple of minutes. Once that's done, let's now open up LD Player. Well, let me show you what I previously recorded on this application. And here we are guys, we are now inside our virtual Android home screen. Uh, we have some system applications over here. Let's click on settings. Let's scroll down and we can see here that this device is running Android 7.1.2. And we can see here on the side, we do have some shortcuts. So we have shortcuts for the virtual volume control. We have a shortcut to install an application. We can do that, or we can just drag applications directly into here. Uh, down here, you've got the button for back, and you also have the shortcut, which is escape. Here you have the button for home, or alternatively, you can press F1. And here you have the app switcher. So let's try the shortcut. So let me press F1. And we see that takes us into home. And let's open up the LD store. So this is kind of like their own custom application store. So we can see they do mostly have games on here and then you do have some of the popular applications. So let's say for example, I want to install uh, Chrome. Let's click on that. Click on install. Okay, we see that spawns the Google Play Store. Let's give that a second. Okay, we just signed into the Play Store. I can now click on install. Give that a second. Okay, that's now installing. And there it is guys, that's how easy it is to install Android applications inside your Android emulator. So it really is very, very easy to use. Application that you can install on a normal Android box, you can now install on here. So for example, one application I always recommend is Aptoid TV. So if I search for that, Aptoid uh, TV, I can just search for that, click on the first link, click on download. It says, do you wanna download this? Click on okay. That's now downloaded, click on open. You can see guys, it is very, very easy to navigate and very, very easy to use. That's now installed. I click on open and I now have access to Apto TV using this custom um, application store. And I now have access to literally just hundreds and thousands of different applications. And of course, once again, if I want to install something, I can click on this, click on install. And within five seconds, that's now installed and that's ready to use. Here, for example, I've installed this application here. I can click on that, just like you do on your normal Android TV devices or your Fire Sticks. I now have full access to this application. I can click on this menu up here. And let's go for trending codes. And let's just try the first one. And I now have access to all of these applications. Super easy to use. One click, install them inside of my emulator, 
and I can then run them from this device. And that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think that LD Player is a great way for you to run your favorite Android applications, your favorite streaming applications on any of your computers, your laptops. And if you are looking for the easiest way to run these applications, I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. I will be doing another live stream on this extra channel in the next few days. Make sure you are subscribed with all notifications so you know exactly when I go live. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.